So in this video, let us look into the mean of group data, but by a different method called as the shortcut method. This method is basically used, you know, when the numbers involved are quite, uh, you know, big and it's like tedious to make a lot of calculations and all those things. So like what happens in this, in this method is that, so say for example, we've got uh, weights in one row and then students in another row, say uh, students weigh, say somewhere between 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73. Say the number of students that weigh so much are 13, 12, 11, 10, and 9. So instead of, you know, now this is uh, X and this is F. So instead of, you know, multiplying F and X and all those things, 13 times 69, it's going to take some time, right? So if you do not want to do all these things, the formula to find mean is this. Mean equals A plus 1 by N times summation f i d i don't worry i'll come to all the notations one by one so the first what does this a mean this a means assumed mean assumed mean so you know you need to assume one mean in this say in this in this you know let's say the mean is 71 you know let's say let's just assume the mean is 71 okay so that's going to be the assumed mean so we know what is the n n is nothing but the sum of uh, frequencies okay so no problem as far as the e n is concerned so now fi we've got fi right so these are the fi so what is di now di is nothing but the deviation of the original values from the assumed mean a so we've assumed this mean in this case to be 71 right so, so how much does 69 deviate from it? So you need to do like, you know, 69 minus 71 is equal to minus 2. And then 70 minus 71 equals minus 1. Then 71 minus 71, which is equal to 0. And then 72 minus 71, which is equal to 1. And then, you know, 73 minus 71, which is equal to 2 and so on. So, so these are the di, you know, this is the di for you. So you need to multiply these values with fi and then, well, here you've got. It's a pretty simple thing because you don't have to like multiply big numbers. You're going to assume a mean, you know. So that's all. That's all is the difference between the shortcut method and the direct method. Uh, so remember, shortcut method is used to avoid uh, bigger calculations. And then the major uh, difference between the direct method and the shortcut method here is you assume a mean here, which is capital A. And then you find the deviation of the original values from the assumed mean and then substitute those values in this formula which is mean equals a plus 1 by n uh, times summation FIDI. Let me write this again clearly once more here in green. So mean by shortcut method is given by assumed mean plus 1 by capital N times summation FIDI. So here we've got the formula. So this ends this video. I will see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on mean of grouped data by shortcut method.